something that I want you to take. Sometimes in this life, you might find that not everyone agrees with you, okay? And you might find that not everyone is on your side. And that's the reality of it. There's nothing you can do about it. And let's, let me be very honest with you. Anything that is worth living for, for, the fi for example, simple example, you're fighting for understanding this Arabic. You're sacrificing your time. Your family wants you to go out with them. Sometimes maybe they are, they, they, they are pushing you to, 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 to the borderline, basically, to a position where you know not, no. This, this is literally stepping over the boundaries of what, I, what, what should be more um, important to me at the moment, number one. Number two, you find that it shouldn't have to be your family as in your wife and your children. Sometimes it can be your own family members as your extended family. Sometimes you can have your friends. They are the ones that are every time pointing their fingers at you. And it can be even more than that and far beyond that might be hurtful. But even if the entire world will literally negate and at the same time neglect you, it does not matter as long as you are standing on the right path. Wa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yu'allimuna dhalika huna kama qala waraqat ibn Nawfal. Waraqat ibn Nawfal is exactly what he told Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this is what's going to happen. You're going to face a lot of backlash and a lot of attacks. But the one thing that he was literally telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. But as long as you're on the right path, it doesn't matter whatever happens. And who told you that the right path is the most easiest and thorniest path that does not have it, that does that doesn't have any thorns on it? Who told you that? Actually, the path that literally is worthwhile, which many don't want to take, is the most thorniest and the most hurtful and the most damaging of all paths. But at the end of the day, if you look at a rose, when a rose grows. Does it just grow without no thorns? It's the same rose that blooms on the, at the top, but at the same time it has its own thorns that literally attack you. So in order for it to become a rose, you have to be stung a number of times until you get to that position of the rose. The path which is less travelled is the path that is worth living for. And it's the shortcut to the best of this world. And you've got to understand this. This concept does not apply only for you to achieve whatever you want on this earth. That is shallow achievement. If you want to achieve for anything on this earth, it's best that that which you want to achieve for is exactly which will take you to the best of Akhirah in the hereafter too. Think about it. That is what you must be looking for and trying to work for. That is a long-term vision. But a short-term vision is that which ends on this world. Because remember this. رَأْسُ الْخَطَايَ حُبُّ الْعَاجِلَةِ لَيْسَ الدَّوَى إِلَّا فِي الْإِطْرَارِ لَهِ كَمَا قَالَ ابْنُ عَاشِرَ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ the problem and the biggest issue that majority of us are facing today and the biggest mistake, the greatest of all, is حُبُّ ajila, Loving haste in everything. You want everything to happen right now. مَنْ كَانَ يُرِيدُ الْعَاجِلَةَ تَعَجَّلْنَا لَهُ فِيهَا The one who wants ajila, they want haste, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to them. It's like a person that literally finds an avenue of attaining haram money and it's the easiest money, they go for that avenue. They don't care whether they're making, they, 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 um, they are indulging in interest or maybe they're taking away someone's rights or maybe they're harming this or that. They don't even care. Like in what they're failing to understand is that what, may, what did it make them do? It made them commit that which they should not be committing. Bear that in mind. So this is a lesson that I want you to take as well and apply it in your Arabic. This, what you're learning right now, is not the easiest path. And it's exactly, let, let me tell you, it's going to get easy after, but it's not going to get easy now. This is to motivate you so that you may carry on to revise and continue revising as much as you could. If a concept does not make sense today, go through it. وَسَيَفْتَحُ اللَّهُ لَكَ فِي أَفْكَارِكَ وَأَذْهَانِكَ Allah will open it in your, in your thoughts and in your mind. Bear that in mind. In your great mind that you have, because the mind is great. The mind is amazing how Allah created it. But sometimes a concept might not settle properly in the mind until you constantly revise it again and again and again. So for example, what I'm teaching you right now, I'm trying to be as much slow as I could so we can take concept after concept after concept. 